I'm John Bowden. Here's part one of our second interview with Richie Fiore. On this one, we talk about the death of Rusty Young. This is Rock History Music. Richie Fiore has a brand new album out. It's called 50th Anniversary, Return to the Troubadour, a two-CD set. The first set is Various Tune. It's called Still Deliverin'. And set two, as he plays the Poco album Deliverin' from start to finish, that one's called Deliverin' Again. Here's our second interview with former Buffalo Springfield Poco and Souther Hillman Fiore band member, Richie Fiore. Well, speaking of Rusty, uh, a complete shock. I mean, I, I, was, I thought of you right away because we were trying to set up the interview at the time and we just hadn't set up the dates yet and uh, i did a live feed and someone said are, are, are you going to talk to richie i said well yeah it's going to happen but let's let's let him breathe a little bit you know and yeah. uh, uh what was your reaction i mean it's an obvious it's you know oh, you know what you're going to say but yeah it was it, it put me in shock you know for a i mean i was on the phone um with um one of my managers and um uh, I hadn't talked to him, a previous manager than, than, than David Stone. And I, I, w- I was um, uh, just so glad to hear his voice and talk to him. And, and he said, well, you haven't heard the news yet, have you? Because uh, the way we are, we're doing our conversation, you know, it was like, hey, how you doing, man? Haven't talked in a while. And da 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 da. said, you haven't heard. I said, what news? He said about Rusty. What do you mean? He said, Rusty had passed away. And I'm, I'm telling you, it just it sent me into in into the zone because i didn't know i mean obviously it was a it was a uh, a sudden heart attack and nobody was really ex- you know man we can be prepared for when something like this happens but we're never prepared for it i mean we can you know we can think we're you know in a, in a place where uh we can we can just I mean, I think we're still digesting. I'm stumbling right now and just, you know, what to, what, what thoughts, you know, that I have, because I'll go back and I'll think of, you know, different things that we've done over the, over the years and, and the music that we created, the genre of music that we created as we pioneered, you know, this Southern California country rock sound. And, you know, when Rusty came out and played on, uh, on Kind Woman, I mean, uh, you know, uh, Jimmy and I were thinking about, you know, the, the kind of band that we wanted to put together after Springfield broke up. And when we heard Rusty play, I mean, there was only one question that was asked, you want to be in a band? <laughs> I mean, there, there was nothing, uh, nothing else. And, you know, there were, a lot of moments of, of just really great times that we had together and, and my heart you know it's just kind of it has I, it hasn't settled in my heart yet to tell you the truth well as a man of faith Richie I mean uh I, I remember going through times in the 80s when I lost a few people too fast too close together sure and I started grappling with I said, death it's so weird like they existed yesterday they were there and a friend of mine I mean I'm not a Christian but she was a Christian and she's one of the still one of my best friends she said well, she says, you know, as a Christian, I digest that a little differently, you know, and and she told me her, her, her point of view. And I remember that being refreshing as a man of faith. How do you digest death? How do you what do you look? How, how does it approach you? Well, I, I certainly being a believer and, and, a, and a Christian, I, I know that this world is not the end of the line. And so that's my hope. And uh, I have to rest in that. But listen, you know, being a Christian, not a Christian, being a pastor, not a pat, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not a pastor now. I've retired. But, it, you know, the reality of one of our close, if, it, if, it's a, if it's a wife or a husband or a close friend or a child or even a, somebody that's, that's like Rusty nearby, it, it's still something that, you know, we all have to deal with on this, on this horizontal level. You know, I mean, yes, I, I believe that, that when I cross that line into eternity, I'm going to be in the presence of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. What does that mean exactly? I don't know. I haven't crossed that line yet, but that's my hope. And that's the hope of every Christian and every believer, you know, that this journey on this earth is not the end of the line and, and life goes on forever. And so, you know, in, in what respect that is, I can only go from, you know, some of the gospels, you know, where Jesus appeared to the disciples and, and to other people, says to 500 at one time, you know, when, after he had been crucified. And so, you know, our hope is that, you know, we're, we're, we're going to live forever for whatever and however that is, I'm not sure, but I know that it's got to be good because the Bible also 
also says, eye has not seen and ear has not heard the things that the Lord has prepared for those that love him. So there you go. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. If you want to donate to the channel, there's a link at the very top of the description. Buy a t-shirt if you like. That helps support our channel as well. We recently hit 80,000 subscribers. Thank you for that. More from Richie Fiore coming up in the next three, four days. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.